I know that nigga is not crying. I know Zeraki Kimpachi was not crying. Either which ways, before I get to that point, my name is Marcellus, and today I'll be bringing you chapter, well, Bleach chapter, uh, 524 review. Either which ways, man, all fighting in this chapter, well, not all fighting, in the beginning we get, uh, notes to both of their, uh, close friends, and, you know, Kimpachi's and, uh, Unahana's. And I'm guessing the note said that uh, they probably won't return from the fight because each of them, I mean, well, I guess one of them has to die. So they both probably wrote in advance that one of them is going to die. Either which way, after that, we get the fact of them fighting. And Kenpachi is saying that, you know, Unahan has got weaker. And um, he's saying you're using cheap tricks. And she basically broke a blade off in his shoulder or whatever. Unahana has Zoraki Kenpachi against the rope. She's like beating his ass. And at one like later on in the chapter we get uh Zoraki Kenpachi saying like uh I used to kill anything. I used to kill people, bugs, plants. Uh it was just all like swinging my sword in the dark to me. Until the day I fought you. And that's the uh day I learned fear, and that's the day I enjoyed the fight the most. And he said he wanted to fight her again. Well, he does get the chance to fight her again, and she has him up against some kind of platform. He's back against the wall, and it seems like she stabs him in the throat, like directly just straight through the throat. And I thought that nigga was dead. No, before she stabs him in the throat, this nigga is crying. He is saying, am I going to die here before I beat you? And you, I think you see a tear coming down his face. What? Zoraki, one of the toughest people in Bleach, is crying? Uh, no. Either which way, after that, we get, um, we get her stabbing him through the throat, and for a second there, it looks like he died, and he says, damn, when he's passing out, but then he wakes up, and he just says, like, he lost consciousness. Well, Unhan explains that, uh, Zoraki gets more powerful every time he's on the brink of death, and, uh, he crosses the border between, um, he says every time... Okay, quote unquote. Every time you cross the word to death, you become stronger. That is the mistake I imposed on you, and also my sin. Okay, so apparently she had a past, and I'm not gonna make any theories about it, but uh, maybe it has to do some. Well, I'm pretty sure it has something to do with death, and maybe it has something to do with before when they fought, uh, because I know that past Kimpachi could not beat. Um, Unahana, if he's not beating her now, so maybe, maybe she showed mercy on him and spared his life or something like that. And now every time he gets closer to death, he becomes stronger because after he gets stabbed in the throat and she pulls the sword out, he wakes up and he just says, "There's no time to think about the fight, just fight," and he goes berserk. So, you know, that's the chapter of 524, and I really have nothing to say about this chapter. It was pretty much just all fighting. And, uh, we found out something about Kenpachi is, um, we found out that he pretty much, the fight between him and Unahana in the past is what made him the person he is today, and stuff like that. And Unahana, we found out, well, we find out something that she's made a mistake in her past that it's caused, well, has an effect on Zoraki, and we found out that Zoraki cries like a bitch. So, if you like this, Please don't forget to like the video. Don't forget to subscribe. And tell me what you thought of the chapter in the comment section below. And I will see you guys later.